this is the negative or the earth one of these both of these black wires they have plug-ins go into that and then here is the fused side over here and this original can't quite see it there it is the original DC DC output of three amps goes into there and through this uh, two pin amp style connector one of those goes to it's not quite focusing but I added that that goes to that little itty bitty tail light in the um, under the fender here is the new This is the, yeah, it's not focusing. Anyway, that's the new um, DC DC the 10 amp, and that will plug into this. And then the new wiring loom uh, plugs into that one. This goes right here. This one plugs in where this one unplugs, and of course, this power unplugs from there and here's the rest of that loom it's just hanging there right now it will go around with these plugs goes up through here that one plugs into the new um, display these most all of these are labeled headlamp and, and this is for the front brake switch more to follow. The new display mounts under there where the handlebar mounts underneath are. Pop those out, put this in, it plugs in there. And this is the uh, wiring kit. Or the lighting kit. There. I'll run it down there. This bolts on there. Like that. Kind of tucked it all back together. This is the original wiring. I took the little tiny LED off the front out and I pulled that loom off. This is hanging out to see, but this is the button, the switch rather, I put on to turn off the high beam so that when the, that there's no off position, so the headlight won't be on all the time. Currently maps on this side, lanyards on that side, and installed some guards to keep me from getting locked up front wheels more to come